Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. You will hear a conversation between an international student and the accommodation department. You have thirty seconds to look at questions one to three. Hello, accommodation department. How can I help you? Uh, do you look after accommodation for international students? Yes,、uh, we look after accommodation for all the students. Good. I hope you can help me then. I've only just been accepted onto a postgraduate course, and I want to know if there is any accommodation available from this September. I know it's very short notice.、Mm, yes,、uh, it, it is rather late, but I'm sure we'll be able to find you something.、Uh, first of all, can you give me your name and student number so that I can find you on the system? Sure. My name is Maria Teresa Gonzalez. Maria Teresa Gonzalez. Uh, how do you spell that? G O N Z A L E Z. Thank you. Got it. And your student number, please. S H U three zero zero seven one five P G. S H U three zero zero seven one five P G. Ah, here you are. Department of Modern Languages. Yes, that's me. Okay, now there are several options for postgraduate students. Firstly, there is the Trigon.、Uh, this is a new block near to the station and not far from the main campus. Accommodation is what we call cluster accommodation. What does that mean?、Uh, there's a small group of rooms, usually six, each with its own bathroom, clustered around a lounge kitchen area, which is shared. Oh. I see. That sounds good. They are very popular.、Uh, the price for these is ninety nine pounds per week, and we do have some availability left. However, for postgraduate students, there are other options. And what are they?、Uh, there's another apartment block called the Cube, located near the west gate of the campus. Accommodation there is in one or two bedroom self-contained flats. So. The cube is self-contained. How does that work? Well, basically, they're just like ordinary apartments. Each apartment has one or two study bedrooms with ensuite bathroom, a lounge, and a kitchen. And what is the price of those?、Uh, for the one bedroom, it is a hundred and eighty pounds per week, and for the two bedroom, it is a hundred and ten pounds per week for each person. And can I choose who I share with? If you have a friend and you would like to share with them, of course we can reserve a two-bedroom apartment for you both. Otherwise, you just have to share with whoever else is there. Obviously, it will be another woman.、Mm. I will have to think about this. Do I have to make a decision now? No, but we don't have much accommodation left, so I can't guarantee that there will still be availability if you leave it too long. Yes, that's fair. I have a friend in the management department who might like to share. I will speak with her and get back to you this afternoon. Okay, fine.、Uh, do let us know as soon as you can. I will do. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Thank you. Now we're done with the first part. Moving on to the second section. You will hear a man talking to a receptionist at a hotel. First, you have some time to look at questions one to seven.
Listen carefully to the first part of the conversation. Good evening, sir. Do you have a reservation? Yes. Let me just check I've got everything. Um,、uh, sorry. Yes, a reservation. It's in the name of Hartley, Martin Hartley. Let me see. Oh yes, here it is. That's for three nights. Yes, that's right. Do you need my passport? I just need to take the number as a form of ID. No problem. Now, can I just ask you to fill in this registration form, please? Ah, actually, no. You see, I've broken my wrist. Yes, I noticed that. I'm afraid form filling is something I can't manage right now. Not without a lot of pain, anyway. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry, sir. But don't worry, I can complete the form for you. That's very kind of you. What do you need to know? Well, let's start with your name, of course. So that's Martin, um. Hartley. That's H A R T L E Y. Thanks. And your address? Forty-five, Carlisle Way. Could you spell Carlisle for me? Sorry. It's C A R L I S L E. You don't pronounce the S. Carlisle Way, and that's in Lewis. L E W E S. And is there a state? I don't think you have states in the UK. No, we have counties. It's. East Sussex, Sussex is with double S. The post. Were you doing entirely translating again? Well, translating was the major part of it, mostly from English into French this time. Official documents, letters, that kind of thing, much more challenging. But I was also in charge of coordinating the translation work going on in the bank's offices in Switzerland, Belgium, and other parts of France. Ah,、huh. what did that involve? It was simple, really. I just had to keep track of what had been translated in each office, to save wasting time having the same document translated twice in different offices. So、uh, you stayed there for a year and a half, and then you left.、Uh, why was that? Simple to apply for this course. I see. Why give up a secure job in Paris to train as a teacher here? I've always imagined that I'd be a teacher, really. I loved being in Paris, but I wouldn't want to spend the rest of my life working for a bank.、Ah. Do you think your experiences in France will help you as a teacher of French? It certainly helped my French, and my experiences certainly gave me a much better understanding of French culture.、Mm. Although that may not be of enormous use when it comes to standing up in front of a class of British thirteen-year-olds. <laughs> Perhaps not. <laughs>、uh, well,、uh, thank you very much. The next stage of the interview will be conducted by my colleague in room two hundred seven. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Practice is key to improving your skills in all four sections of the English exam. By practicing regularly, you become familiar with the format and types of questions, improve your time management skills, and gain confidence in your abilities. Do you understand clearly? You are advised to listen attentively. To score the correct answer, you will have to listen very carefully to the appropriate part of the audio in order to understand what is being talked about. <laughs> 